we hear a lot of stories about things that go wrong versus things that go right. And um, because the outcome for me was so good, we would like to be able to share that. My wife was diagnosed just after Christmas in 2022 with stage one breast cancer. That was then reclassified as stage two. First, it was very shocking and very scary. The main question is, well, why me? It didn't take very long to acknowledge the information we received and just start going forward and what do we need to do to fight it. We chose to remain here at the Sequoia Regional Cancer Center because of the experience and the knowledge and the compassion and the skills that the nursing staff and the medical staff all have. February 1st was the date that um, was going to initiate you know, the chemotherapy process by putting in the, the portacath for the chemo. And that's in the vein that goes into the heart. And when she was coming out of surgery and they were trying to wake her up was when the complications were noticed. And they immediately transferred her here via ambulance into the ER where she was then diagnosed with fluid on the heart and doing open heart surgery to save her life. All of that happened within about a three hour period. It was very rapid. To be in a place that I was able to receive such responsive attention and care and the skill level of the staff of the medical and nursing staff that was available to me. I just feel fortunate. She remained in the hospital for six days, about three days in ICU and then moved into the other area uh, before being discharged. What we had was Kawia Home Health also came. We went through about six to eight weeks of getting her back into uh, walking, getting her you know, into shape and getting prepared for the chemo that she was going to go through as part of her breast cancer fight. Today, there really is nothing left other than a scar from the open heart surgery. Uh, she seems to have covered very well. She's walking again. She's you know, almost back to where she was before. The individuals that put their hands on me for care, their focus is the same as mine as far as recovery and being cancer free. And it's good to have that team behind me. When Betty was recovering from the open heart surgery and preparing for chemotherapy, it was my thought to not only recognize the people here at the hospital, but also do a pay it forward type fundraiser. Because the area that we're in, not everybody can afford their bills. And as a result, the hospital doesn't get the kind of money it actually needs to be the world class that it is. A lot of technological advances, a lot of advances in the medicine that the hospital provides, a lot of opportunities for the staff to get the skill sets and everything they need comes from fundraising. People can contribute as much as they wish. That goes to funding advancements with regard to the cardiac unit as well as the cancer center. This will end up getting some money that the hospital can desperately use to be able to help other people who end up with something like my wife has had or anything like that.